I think that some of my best times have definitely been um, doing shows and you know doing Tech Week and working with like Marnie and Margot and you know all these cool great people. They have like really good baked goods like in the cafeteria nine ten you know like I appreciate them like the warm bagels and the muffins like they're I, I have great appreciation for them because like freshman year they had like those nasty like sweaty bagels like in those bags that were, they were bad but um. Yeah, I think I'll miss that. Out of anything, I'd probably miss the crew office the most. And if you haven't been there, it's definitely a place to see. Um, the grilled cheese in the cafeteria, like that is just some premium grilled cheese. I just, oh man, I wish I could get the re recipe. <laughs> I'm gonna miss like Jory Robin, like saying hi, Erin, and like I don't know, like I just think she's funny. Like, isn't that pretty good? I could see in ten years. I could see Jordan Cardos playing somewhere in like either basketball playing in like Europe or the CBA, something like that. And everywhere he goes, right with him, Dave Schmidt and Mike Hazard will just be following him everywhere and doing everything he does. And they're going to live together until they're 70 years old. Cardos fakes a shot, drives it up to the free throw line, puts it up and good. Jordan Cardos. Jordan Cardos. Cardos doing a nice job of reading the defense, taking the jumper that the defense gave him. I think it was Fourth of July, like the Fourth of July parade, because when I woke up, like I realized that this was going to be. It was still in the summer, and school hadn't even started, and I realized that that was the beginning of like the last for everything. We were doing this thing, and we were like staying in the CPA like after. After after everyone else had left for some for some reason, and like Mark had asked Murphy if we could stay, I was like, sure, just you know, don't don't fall off the stage, you know, ha ha ha, so. We're, Mark was kind of like directing it, I guess. So we're like in position on stage, okay? And he's backing up. He's like, okay, guys, that's good, that's good. And boom, right off the edge of the stage. <laughs> and then, you know, all of us were like, we're like, ha ha! Oh, wait, is he hurt? You know? And suddenly I just flew off the stage, dropped about, uh, what, 12 feet, something like that, hit the framework on the way down, and punctured my lip. When Mark Alexander, during B Show one year, he was walking on some random platform, and all of a sudden, like, it was the weirdest thing. Like, all of a sudden, everyone's just like, Mark Alexander just fell off the stage. Don Lev walked in after lunch one day, and he was dressed in a bikini top and a grass skirt, and he was all upset <laughs> because the... <laughs> because the deans told him that he couldn't walk around school dressed like that. He couldn't understand it. It was an outrage. It first hit me that I was a senior during the uh, freshman uh, orientation, and we went there and we realized that basically the school is ours. I think, I think the craziest thing I've ever seen a Spartan do had to be the, the, the guys in the, in the boss palm number for, uh, for V-Show this year when they got into cheerleaders' outfits. They looked pretty sexy. I see Joe Dench in England yelling and screaming at people like she does here, bossing him around, but, you know, then apologizing afterwards, only she's getting paid millions of dollars to do it. This year at the homecoming assembly when my band played in front of the whole entire school, because it was really the first time that people that usually couldn't hear our band got a chance to hear them, and just looking out in the crowd and seeing all those people was pretty cool, pretty awesome. One of my uh, favorite people to think about coming back is Amy Geiger. I've been lucky enough to have gotten to know Amy over the last few years playing soccer. And one of the things that I really appreciate, appreciate about Amy is I think she's one of the best eaters that I have ever seen in this whole world. Now, some people don't treat that as a compliment, but Amy will eat anything and not just eat anything, but eat a lot of anything. And I think Amy is going to be a very distinguished eater when she comes back. It first hit me the last night of our town, because it the whole place centers around the idea that you never appreciate things while they're there until it's too late. And I was sitting on stage during the last night, during this funeral scene, and I'm not supposed to be moving. I'm supposed to be like sitting there, staring straight ahead. And I realized that this was probably the last time I was going to be performing on the stage there and just all the stuff I had done like 
flash to me, and I realized that this was like the beginning of the end. Our town, see, right across my nipples. My tell us basketball game. That's my game. Stern has it one on one, one on two, all the Let's way up. Take roll off the glass. Stern again. Oh. Look inside for Madden, stolen by Andy Stern. Stern to the hole again, off the glass. Andy Stern's got eight. Looking unbelievable so far. Bring it up on Mark Elvin. Stern off the glass, he gets it again. Andy Stern now with all eight of Glenbrook North's points. Stern with the rebound to the glass, he's got 12. My team did great, not a pass scene. We did so good. Oh, wonderful game. We kicked in Andy's butt and good job. Thank you for the team and me and my fans. Thank you and thank you very much. Thank you. Homecoming uh, assembly this year. It was for class competitions. It was rigged for the seniors to win. However, Betsy Khan found a way to have us lose. She fell in the potato sack and we lost. I can see Steve Ripes returning as a distinguished alumni because he's probably going to invent something really important. I don't know what that is, but it's going to be really important. The, a person who's inspired me the most throughout GBN, throughout my life, is Mr. Blackall. Um, I think he's just an amazing man who, who has the power to make people feel appreciated and just to inspire them to think on their own and to just, he's just amazing. I think he's very inspirational. Money. <laughs> had a lot of uh, great teachers in the English department and they've taught me not only about school but about life and like what's to come after high school. My teacher, Farty. My biggest inspiration in high school so far I had to start out my freshman year that summer with uh, freshman football with Coach Howie. He taught me work ethic, what it's all about, doing power drills, and he also made it fun doing it and learning it. <laughs> My most memorable experience as a counselor was dealing with Sean Goldman's college applications. Um, Sean continued to amuse me when I, he'd come in to do a college application and out of his backpack would come crumpled papers, things scribbled, so it was, it was definitely, I never knew what I was going to get from Sean and then I remember the last day looking down at, and dealing with a crumpled paper and, and seeing him have two different pairs of shoes on too, so <laughs> it was Sean. Ten years, I see um, Scott Lichtenstein as a, as a bum on the street making lots of money, though. Uh, Actually, being a senior hasn't quite hit me yet. I'm guessing it'll probably hit me in about three months when I'm going to Oakton and I realize how much I messed up. I see. I see Mark Alexander is a really cheesy, like, either talk show host or, like, game show host. Totally off the wall, nutso. Like, terrifying his guests and just crazy. Um, sophomore year, the basketball team that went down state. Um, I mean, I got to dress for all the games. Just going out and warming up was so much fun. It was just incredible the way the whole school got behind it. Nutra must get a three just to send it in overtime. There's a There's three. A no, we're going to Northwestern. We're going to Northwestern. Glenbrook North is one. We are going to Northwestern. Yes, yes, we have waited four years to say that, Micah, and we finally get to say it. Yes. We need something. 56-53 is your final score. Here's Warren, five seconds left. They're going to have to put up a three. Here's a three. No good. One second left. Yeah, we're going down to state. We're going down to state. Glenbrook North is going down to state. Uh, one of the problems that I have is that I'm, I'm very intimidated uh, by smart people. And so you can imagine how I felt for, for two years having Alex Eilauer, Johnny Lee, Brett Russell, Kim Harris uh, all in the same class. Uh, and Every night I would, I would just cry myself to sleep with the, uh, the intimidation factor of those smart people being in there. It uh, first hit me that I was a senior when I was walking down the hall and saw my little 14-year-old uh, brother walking right next to me and then I had to smash him into the locker. So that was like the first time it really hit me that I was a senior in GBN. I can see Mike Landau coming back with like 
the, a comeback of like Joseph, and he's Dan, he's the new Danny Asmund, and then Danny Asmund will be like the father or something, because he'll like be old then. <laughs> Being a part of, of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, that was just like the last day, all the seniors holding hands, that was incredible. My most memorable experience was to be to have the opportunity to go down stay for track, track and field junior year and hopefully senior year. Um, to be able to see all those great athletes down there and just know that that's the highest level that, of my sport that I could get to and to be, know that I was down there with all them. Uh, the distinguished alumni from this senior class, I think, would be Andrew Park, who would be, or will be, a world-renowned concert pianist, and come back and, and at the awards assembly, instead of giving the usual speech, he'll he'll play the piano for us all. Okay, the craziest thing I've ever seen a Spartan do is actually a bunch of Spartans when they all dressed up, like got naked for that one football game, probably like negative 400 billion degrees out took off all their shirts and they had their chest painted. I don't even know what they had painted on them, like ghost Spartans or something. Like, was it worth it? I don't know. But that's probably the craziest thing that I've seen a Spartan do. It's really cold. And you're just like, it's like paint, not clothes. I see Mark Alexander probably singing the No More Worse Crispy song from here on in. Um, making money on the streets, maybe? No more Rice Krispies. There are no more Rice Krispies. My tears won't stop till I hear snap, crackle, pop. Let me see. Hmm. I see Alex Eilhauer as inventing the next... Oh, you know what he's going to invent. He's going to invent one of those things like pick your nose in the car, but people won't see you. If I had to describe the class 97 three words, I'd say uh, courageous, generous, and fun. Caring is outgoing. Ociferous. That means full of bones. Athletic and humorous. Ambitious. Willing. Intelligent. Gentle. Funny. Enthusiastic. Feisty. That's not three. Diverse. Large. I think we have lots of potential. Very smart group. Bright. Intelligent. Flexible. Crazy. Independent. Energetic. Talented. Sincere. Interesting. Fun. Shiny, happy people. A real sensitive group of people. Um, they care a lot about things, and, and they show it in nice and, and quiet uh, kinds of ways. They're also a little bit crazy. I start my day with my senior class, and uh, there's never a day that I don't look forward to uh, going in there and being with them. And uh, I'll miss that a lot. <laughs>